Thomas the Tank Engine who worked his branch line for many years. You know where to stop, Thomas. You could almost manage without me. Thomas was conceited. He didn't realize Driver was joking. So, that's what he did. Later, he boasted the others. Driver said I don't need him now. Ugh, don't be so deaf. I never go out with my driver. I'll be frightened. <laughs> I'm not scared. You'll never dare. I will then. You'll see. The next morning, a firelight arrived. Thomas drowsed comfortably as a warm spread to his boiler. You know even now about the careless cleaner. Was messing his control. Percy and Toby still asleep. Thomas suddenly remember. Silly stick in the mud. I'll show them. Driver says I manage without me. I just go out and stop and wee. That'll make them jump. So that's what he planned for. Unfortunately to Thomas, he was only moving the careless cleaner having malice controls. Soon he found me a mistake. He tried to wee and all sorts of things, but he couldn't. Now Thomas was frightened. At the three sightings, one buffer was there, and second, there's no buffers. It's just the end of the road. The house where they live is Station Master's family. They're eating breakfast. But no idea that Station Master didn't hear the train. But sadly, there's going to be a one fatal and a breakfast for Station Master's family. Thomas crashed right through the house. The house went rumble and collapsed. And even destroyed. Thomas felt depressed. And worst of all, for a sorry of a Station Master's family. Station Master's family were being perished and killed, including two children. Thomas was going sent to the works, so Top Head was there. Cheer up, Thomas. It wasn't your fault. Sodor investigation says that it was a cl careless cleaner. However, Daisy the diesel rail car will do your work. Thomas was shocked and went paled. Uh, diesel, sir? Yes, Thomas. Diesel always in and says, do they want it? They never got off with breakfast at the station master's house. <laughs> 